Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to access incognito mode in Google Chrome. So this is definitely a nice little feature if you don't want to leave any web browser tracking history behind. So please keep in mind that this is definitely not going to protect you from keeping records from your ISP or internet service provider. And any downloads you put on your computer will remain there even after you close out of the incognito browsing session. So basically, if you haven't already picked it up, incognito mode is basically browsing the web without leaving any traces on your computer. So by doing that, you're not going to leave any cookies behind or any safe passwords. It'll basically delete your history once you're closed out of the web browser. But except for the few things that I mentioned before, um, it's definitely a nice little tool to use. The most frequent use I have for it is when I'm opening up two different email addresses and I don't want to close out of the one. I'll just open up an incognito window so I'll have two Google Chrome windows open and I can be logged into two different email addresses at the same time. That's pretty much what I use it for but I'm sure there are a variety of other uses for it as well. So very simple to access it. I'm going to show you guys a couple different ways to do it. The one way would be if you have a shortcut on your taskbar. You can just right click on it. You can left click underneath task. You can select a new incognito window right from here. And this will open up an incognito web browser window. It'll have a gray border around the top in the URL bar. And then the launch page will say you've gone incognito. Pages you view in incognito tabs won't stick around in your browser's history, cookie store, or search history after you've closed all of your incognito tabs. Any files you download or bookmarks you create will be kept. However, you aren't invisible. Going incognito doesn't hide your browsing from your employer, your internet service provider, or the websites you visit. So then once you're done doing that, you can pretty much go to any website you would typically go to. And it would be pretty much like you're doing a normal web browsing experience. Just like I said before, you'll notice that the URL search bar is gray. The tab bar is also gray. And there should be a little icon on the top left with a little mysterious guy with a hat and glasses. This will indicate that you're in incognito mode. If you want to open up a regular window, you could also right click again on the icon of the test bar and then select new window. You could also alternatively go up to the top right for the three dotted uh, more menus icon and left click on that. And then if you select new window, that'll open up a new normal window. You could also select new incognito window, which will basically open up a new one of these. So let's say we want to open up a new window. So this is what a standard Google Chrome window would look like on the right. And on the left is what an incognito window would look like. So virtually they are identical except for the couple of different cosmetic things I mentioned. But their purpose is pretty different. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out. And I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.